Well, CBS 13 is on storm watch once again this morning. Grab those galoshes and umbrella before you head out the door. More rain is coming down across the region. Here's a look at conditions in downtown Sacramento just before 3 o'clock this morning. Wet streets, we can see it there. Shiny and rain pouring down. Absolutely. And local counties are keeping a close eye on creek and river levels as more rain moves in. CBS 13's Lisa Becerra joining us live from Grass Valley with a look at conditions this morning. Elisa, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, you can see it's definitely coming down out here. I'm actually holding our photographer uh, Dave McCain's patio umbrella. I hope his wife doesn't mind. But it's really big because there are a lot of giant raindrops out here. It's been coming down quite ferociously and steadily all morning long, definitely puddling up on the roadways. But areas like this, such as Grass Valley and Nevada City, are projected to get the brunt of all this rain, upwards of about seven and a half inches of rainfall by the time this entire storm is over. Now, the system is expected to make a dent in California's rain shortfall, but whether or not it's a so-called miracle march is yet to be seen, more like a spring soaking. The Department of Water Resources says it's been a very dry water year, but last winter storms are helping to sustain our reservoir shortage. So in the long run, this is all good news. However, if you're heading out this morning, definitely be aware it is coming down. There's a lot of puddling. We haven't seen this kind of rain in a long time where it's just been steady and a lot of water volume. We saw Caltrans on the highway just behind us going through, making sure that they clear those gutters because as you go along the highways, there's a lot of water. So be careful. If you can stay in, enjoy. But the rain is here. It is upon us. Back to you. All right, Elisa Becerra reporting live for us this morning in Grass Valley. Elisa, thank you. We well, want to be careful, too. That uh, umbrella's got a little something coming out there. <laughs> it does, just a little bit. <laughs> yes. Uh, also, mandatory evacuation orders are in place in Santa Barbara and Ventura counties. This following this year's deadly mudslides in Montecito. The National Weather Service says it is preparing for the worst, with forecast of this latest storm showing the Montecito area taking a direct hit. And one of the major concerns with this storm is whether catch basins will be able to handle the extended rains. People were left with no choice but to spend another day filling sandbags and preparing to leave. We're tired of it, but it has to be done. Our house is okay, our neighborhood's okay, but a third of a mile away to the east, they were pulling bodies out for four days. The worst of the storm is expected this afternoon through tomorrow, bringing two to five inches of rain to coastal areas and valleys and five to ten inches in foothills and mountains. A local municipality is handing out sandbags for free. In South Lake Tahoe, residents can pick up sandbags at the city's public works yard. That's located on Rufus Allen Boulevard. Also at Fire Station Number 3 on Lake Tahoe Boulevard. These are open during normal business hours. Over in Truckee, the town is providing free sandbags at Fire Station 92 on Donner Pass Road and at the U.S. Forest Service at Stockrest Springs Road. This spring storm impacting more than just California. Coming up in our next half hour, how the East Coast is bracing for a fourth nor'easter. Also, catch the latest headlines on CBS13.com, including updates beginning at 8 a.m.